Hello, Gemini. Welcome to another love reading. We're going to be looking at what's going on for you in love. What are the current challenges? Uh, what's happened in the recent past? Where's everything headed? And a little bit about who you might be dealing with. All right, so let's see. What do we have for Gemini, Spirit? What do we have for Gemini? What does Gemini need to know regarding love? What does Gemini need to know regarding love? What does Gemini need to know, Spirit, regarding love? So what's going on for Gemini in love at this time? Let's start there. Spirit, what's going on for Gemini at this time? What's going on for Gemini? Oh, Ten of Pentacles. Okay, I'm instantly thinking money here. money i'm thinking money more than stability here um some of you might be doing really well for yourselves right now you might be meeting someone that's very well off or very stable this could be what you're looking for in a relationship gemini something stable secure something that has potential for long-term stability you might have met someone and this is like where things are headed let's see what else what else do we need to know for gemini what's going on for gemini some of you, this could be like career related, like you're doing really well at work or something to do with like financial abundance. Wow, the Emperor, Aries energy. Some of you could be meeting someone um, very special, Gemini, or are dealing with someone that is an Emperor-like energy and there's potential here, excuse me, for long-term security. The Hierophant is at the bottom of the deck, Taurus energy. Um, this could be somebody that you are on the path to marrying or on the path of setting some, you know, it's almost like you're, you're headed on that next step of like long-term commitments. If you're not with someone like this, this is what you're looking for. You're looking for something long-term, something stable, no games, something that you can kind of count on here for the long-term. Okay, so what's been happening in the recent past for Gemini? What's been going on, Spirit, in the recent past? What's been going on in the recent past for Gemini? Judgment. Okay, so I think, um, Gemini, what's happening is that you're having realizations about love, about partnership, about what that means for you. Maybe you've been thinking about your previous partners and what worked what didn't um maybe you've been thinking about making some changes in this next uh cycle when it comes to love and relationships um maybe you've received a wake-up call or some sort of understanding about who you need to be with or what kind of partner you need to be or what kind of partner you need to attract tell me more about recent past energy for gemini more insight please for gemini what does gemini need to know spirit what happened in the recent past for gemini in love four of wands gemini i feel like i'm speaking to a gemini right now that the future is very important a future partnership that is stable is very important some of you have marriage on the brain or weddings on the brain i don't know if you've been going to a lot of weddings or seeing things online about weddings but it's almost like you're having some sort of realization that if you do want a wedding or if you do want a marriage or if you do want a long-term commitment something needs to change or something needs to be like initiated for you i don't know like maybe you need to put yourself out there more maybe you need to date better people maybe you need to be more picky maybe you need to lower your standards a little bit i don't advise that but that's just kind of the thought process that i think um, Gemini's are having right now the Gemini's that this reading is for okay so let's get some energy oracles out here what does Gemini need to know regarding love what does Gemini need to know what does Gemini need to know What's the energy surrounding Gemini in love? 
Victory lap, success, recognition, triumph. Okay, so I feel like, um, Gemini, if you are meeting people um, in the near future or talking to people right now, there could be a lot of um, potentials for success here. I'm also seeing that um, it's almost like when it comes to love, you don't want to have uh, the same old, same old. You don't want to have to repeat patterns. It, you want something different. You want success this time around. What else? This could also be someone that wants success with you. What's the um, energy for Gemini in love spirit? Pure seduction, lust, temptation, desire. You're being tempted to give in to your desires. So this is about being attracted to something or someone, uh, being tempted by something that seems really um, interesting or attractive. I feel like what's happening here is that you want the best of both worlds. You want to be attracted to someone. Maybe you're trying to follow the law of attraction, trying to like, maybe you're really having chemistry with someone, but it's not just that. You want also the success. You want the stability as well. It's not just about intimacy, but longevity. We get an ever after deck or an ever after card. <laughs> Can I get um, an energy oracle for Gemini regarding love? What is the energy for Gemini in love? Carriage, arrival, movement, travel. Yeah, I feel like Gemini, let me get this one too because it kind of popped up. Magic lamp, wishes, choices, desires. Exactly. You have an idea in mind of what you want love to be like and what kind of moves you want to make. Bottom of the deck is karmic lessons and judgment. So there's that judgment energy again. I feel like some of you might have had a par karmic partners, kar karmic partnerships. And it's like, it hasn't been enough. Something in love has not been satisfying. I, I'm picking up that it's like you, this underlying theme of like, something has to be different. I need to be with this type of person. Maybe you meet someone and you're like, that's exactly what I'm looking for. This type of person, this type of partnership. So what's been the challenge for Gemini in love? Three of cups. Maybe you've been kissing a lot of frogs, but you just haven't met the right one. Maybe um, you've been waiting to reunite with someone or come together with someone. Um, maybe you have been dating, but it just seems like nothing comes of it. Maybe a lot of you have just not taken it seriously as well. It could be that you just, your heart hasn't been in it, right? What's the challenge for Gemini? What is the challenge for Gemini? The Knight of Wands. Yeah, I'm getting like, um, maybe there has been chemistry. Maybe things have moved quickly. Maybe there has been passion. Maybe there's, this is someone that's very charming, but you know, the Knight of Wands is not the partner that sticks around. The Knight of Wands is fun. I'm here for a good time, not a long time energy. So I feel like that's what you've been dealing with, Gemini. This is like what's been happening for you in love is you're just meeting these Knights of Wands and you want an Emperor. Some of you, it's like there's the Two of Wands at the bottom of the deck with the lovers. Where's my soulmate? Where's my person? What path do I need to be on? What path do I need to choose to end up with my soulmate? Because I feel like this is where your mind is at. There's the world, you know? It's almost like you're ready for this, but it hasn't panned out. Maybe you meet someone that you think you're going to hit it off with, but when it comes time to like actually decide where this is going, if this is even going anywhere, you're left disappointed. All right, so where is this going with this? Actually, let's talk about this person. Who is this emperor? Spirit, who is this emperor energy? Some of you could just be taking charge also of your love life and being like, if I want this 10 of pentacles, I have to take certain initiatives. But let's see. Tell me about this emperor energy. 
What do we need to know about this person that Gemini is dealing with or will be dealing with in the future? What do we need to know, Spirit? What do we need to know about this Emperor energy? Wow, the lovers. Beautiful. I feel like this is the partner you're looking for. Someone that matches your energy. Someone serious. Someone that is, you know, someone that you see eye to eye with. Tell me more about this Emperor. What do we need to know about this Emperor? Wow, justice. I mean, this is someone that does not mess around. <laughs> Libra energy with justice. Gemini, I feel like you're being very serious about love right now. Something has happened that has made you, it's like this is what you're thinking of. I got to stop messing around. I got to stop wasting time. I got to stop dealing with these types of people that don't lead anywhere. Like I need to have a partnership that's balanced, fair to me. Something that, you know, there's no games, no BS, someone serious, someone that matches my energy. Queen of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck. So yes, this is what you're thinking of. Loyalty, stability, dependability. This emperor could be the person that you are meeting that has these qualities or this is your approach to love right now. You're like, this isn't happening. I'm going to do something different about it. Spirit, what do we need to know about this other person that Gemini is, has, or will be dealing with? What do we need to know? What do we need to know about this other person? What do we need to know about this other person? Four of Swords. Yes, Gemini, I feel like there hasn't been a lot of movement here when it comes to love with the Four of Swords. Four of Swords is also about healing, reflection. You're really thinking, processing. Um, and then the Page of Pentacles. So it could be that this is someone that is not... Uh, they're taking their time with you, with the Page of Pentacles. They're not being a Knight of Wands. They're being the opposite. Um, this could be somebody that maybe things were dormant for a while and then they're speeding up. Or it could just be that this is someone that's really taking their time getting to know you. Um, really getting taking their time making you like an offer. Four of Swords is also someone, it's, it's like... There has been difficulties because the Three of Swords is right before it. So it could be that this is someone that's taking it easy in love. But I think that that makes them someone that you can kind of be more safe around, if that makes sense. Um, because I feel like this person, they're not, they're not players. They're thinking, let's start small and build with the Page of Pentacles. Um, so I feel like whoever this is... There has to be like a level of like patience because there's a reason why they're taking their time because they're not messing around. So maybe this will be a little different for you. Instead of a Knight of Wands, someone that's kind of like, you know, things move, move quickly. Things are very passionate. Things are very like, you know, there's a lot of chemistry and attraction, but there's nothing else that comes from this. Like that's all you get. So you have to try something different if you want things to change. And this might be a little bit of a like learning curve for you. Tell me about this person that Gemini is, has, or will be dealing with. Tell me about this person's energy towards Gemini. Sorry, tell me about this person's energy towards Gemini. Departure. And expressing feelings at the bottom of the deck. So many ways to like interpret this. This could be somebody that left a situation, a job, a place, moved to where you are at, and then they meet you and they're ready to express feelings. This could also be somebody that left this relationship in the past and is ready to express their feelings now. Um, I really do feel like this person has been through something, whoever this is. They've been through something already. Can I get one more for this person? One more energy for this person that Gemini is, has, or will be dealing with. We will be together again. Okay, so this could be somebody from the past or a past life relationship. 
I'm not picking up that you were with this person a long time. If this is someone from the past, it wasn't a long-term relationship. I'm not picking that up. Maybe it was a Knight of Wands type of relationship and you were like, this isn't going anywhere. I'm walking, I'm leaving, bye. I'm not dealing with this. And then later time passes and it's like, I'm ready to do things right. You know, that could be the energy here. We'll have to look at this person more in the extended, but let's see what, where is all of this headed in the near future for Gemini? Spirit, where is all of this headed in the near future? for Gemini. Two of Wands and Page of Wands. Okay, some sort of path or decision and then Page of Wands with the Page of Cups at the bottom of the deck. So I'm getting like a lot of early new type of energy with the Page of Pentacles, Page of Wands, Page of Cups. Um, I feel like this person is going to is one of you is going to take uh the initiative to do something with the page of wands maybe with the two of wands is like waiting for the right time to make a move here making certain choices when it comes to this partnership for example someone wanting to have the talk about being serious or moving in together can i get one more for where all of this is headed in the near future please where is all of this headed in the near future for gemini eight of swords this one too and five of swords okay so i'm getting hesitation because i feel this person with the four of swords they're not rushing anything for a reason something happened in their previous cycle but i also think something happened with you gemini i feel like when it comes to love because you have not had successful relationships recently it's like who can you trust can you trust your own judgment you know who is actually serious about a relationship or who's just playing the game i feel like both of you are kind of coming into this relationship with those like preconceived notions in a way like it's almost like you're both hesitant here and if you have a history together which i think a lot of you do no matter if that history was really short which i think it was or a little bit longer i feel like because of that history it's like you have a lot to process together can you trust each other how can you build trust again, et cetera, et cetera. So I feel like there's going to be a couple of things going on in the near future, but it's still in process. Like this has, I feel like this has a lot of potential because of the 10 of pentacles and the emperor and justice and the lovers. So a lot of potential here for something really special, but I also feel like it's in the beginning stages with all these pages. So I'm going to take this to the extended and I'm going to look at this particular person. What are their intentions towards you? How are they specifically feeling about you? And what are their next moves towards you? Because that page of wants can mean a few things, but I want to kind of break it down. Like, is that an offer? Is that communication? What's going on there? Because I feel like this is going to be a definitely an obstacle for both of you. This five of swords, eight of swords. Someone's in their head a lot here. So that's what I have for you, Gemini. Hopefully you enjoyed this reading. Um, if you enjoyed the reading or resonated for you, don't forget to hit that like button. Feel free to leave a comment um, if you feel comfortable doing that. And subscribe if you haven't already. I would love to have you so you can keep track or keep updated with all the videos that I put out. Thank you so much for watching once again. And I will we'll see you all hopefully in another reading very soon. Take care.